I would do a quick little video. I've been meaning to do one of these for a while. Um, I've come to a spot called uh, Tornaham, one of my favourite spots uh, for landscape photography. And I brought a group here yesterday um, and I saw some absolutely amazing ice formations. So I'm not working um, this morning. So I thought I would pop along and do some of my own photography. So I thought I'd do some little video clips, maybe edit them all together. Um, See if we can find some interesting ice formations and how I would go about photographing them. Wow! Hopefully this is safe to walk on, it should be. Oh, that's the, uh, the train you could just hear in the background there. But I mean, it's covered in these amazing ice platelets. Um, the lake is by no means frozen at the moment. This is just sort of pushed into a bay. I don't know if you can see like the mist in front of Laporte and there. Um, so you've got all these amazing ice platelets and then they're also covered in ice flowers. So let's just have a walk along here. I can get a bit closer to it. Hmm, yeah, that looks pretty nice. So here you can see the, the transition from solid ice placelet, placelet, sorry, this stuff which looks more like lizard scales and is moving to uh, this stuff which is just, yeah, loose bits of ice and then over there you have water itself um, super cool let's get right down to this stuff this is this is some of the stuff i wanted to try and photograph properly i uh, don't know how well it'll work you've got these they look almost like uh hedgehogs ice hedgehogs uh, so these have grown so you can see there's like rime ice which i guess it's rime ice where it splashed out the lake but this hedgehoggy stuff has, uh, has grown out of the atmosphere. Um, don't know how well this is going to show on the GoPro. Find that stuff over there. It's just awesome. Oh, there's one here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but I'm going to try and photograph that. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off for now. Oh, look at this stuff. Look at these! I've never seen anything like it. So, I've spent uh, a good half an hour looking around, trying to find the things which I think are the most interesting. Uh, it's pretty difficult because there's absolutely stacks, which is unbelievably interesting. Um, because of these super cold temperatures we've been having and the proximity to the lake here, so this is Lake Tornatresk, Laporte in there in the background, um, there's a lot of moisture in this otherwise dry air. Um, so it's caused these amazing little ice formations at the side of the lake. I mean, I've been photographing ice formations here for five years. These are definitely some of the most interesting I've ever seen. Totally suits my style of uh, handheld stacking as well. So I have a Canon 5D Mark IV here. Um, Canon 100 mil macro lens. Um, I'm shooting everything on manual, stabilizer on, uh, settings. I'll be aiming for around 100 of a second. Quite a small aperture because I want a big depth of field. Shooting at about f9 ish, f10, uh, ISO 1600. Um, so I'm going to sort of do some handheld stacks. We'll see if they work. Um, these are some of the most interesting ones I've found, and we'll go from there. Uh, I've got to go backwards and forwards to get myself right. I mean, this thing, it just looks like, um, and the only way I can describe it is like uh, a little bonsai tree made of ice. Of 
quick look. Yeah, hopefully that's going to work. I'm just checking things are sharp and that the images look like they'll all overlap. I think that's good. Just do another one for good measure. That's just me firing a blank. So, anyway, right, I'm going to turn that off. Um, probably going to give me enough for a few minutes footage. Um, I'm going to go find some more. Do some, I mean, this, this is really something else is this stuff so um i'll go back process some images see if they work and then just try and throw the whole video together ciao Oi.